Hello, my name is Rachel Lunt, and I'm Director of Assessment in Alpine School District. For several years now, I've had the opportunity to work with teachers and principals across the Alpine District to look at data, to set goals, and put plans in place to improve student learning. I've been asked to make a video this year to talk about how we can use data for the School Land Trust Fund's plans. If you're in need of assistance, please feel free to reach out to your assessment director or whoever works with assessment in your district. They could be a great resource to you. If we look at our state board rule for the appropriate use of school land trust funds, it says that parents, teachers, and the principal shall review school-wide assessment data annually and use school land trust funds in data-driven and evidence-based ways to improve educational outcomes. A common question this year has been what data can we use as our school-wide assessment data? Frequently, statewide assessment data is used in these plans. Last year, with our statewide shutdown of schools, we did not have end-of-the-year testing and do not have the data that is typically available at this time. So again, the question arises, what data can be used? Looking a little further at our state board rule, it says that the expenditures of these funds shall have a direct impact on the instruction of students in the particular school's areas of most critical academic need and be consistent with the academic priorities of the LEA's governing board. So that should lead to an increased achievement in English, language arts, mathematics, and science, and for our high schools should lead to an increase in graduation rates and promote college and career readiness. So again, what information can we use to know how we're doing? State assessment can still be used. Acadians happened last year, just not end of the year scores, and Acadians is happening this year again for our elementary schools. That coupled with previous year's data could be a good data point for these plans. You can also use statewide assessment for grades three, eight. Last year we did not have rise, and the previous year's results had some inconsistencies in it due to the computer program that we used. You could go back three years and look at years previous to that to see where to set goals. If you do that, you could look further into a subject area and determine where within that subject you might want to focus on reading literature or reading informational text, for example. RISE also provides benchmarks for grades three through eight. These are great assessments that can be used for math, reading, science, and writing, and can provide the data needed for these plans. Many of our districts across the state also have district level assessments. They could be for reading, for language arts, math, or science. The data from those assessments and that information can also be used for these plans. Many of our schools also might choose to use school level data and that's completely appropriate as long as it's consistent again with the academic priorities of the LEA's governing board. Typically speaking, it should lead to an increased achievement again in English, language arts, mathematics, and science, or for high schools, lead to an increase in graduation rates and promote college and career readiness. So if you're looking for data, you wanna make sure it focuses on those areas. In the state board rule, it also says that schools that demonstrate appropriate progress and achievement consistent to the academic priorities of the LEA governing board can request to make plans and set goals in other areas as long as the goal is data-driven, evidence-based, and has an impact on the instructions of student, instruction of students consistent with subsections one and two of the state board rule. So again, as long as your data helps support your goals and helps provide the information that you need, that data can be useful. Please feel free again to reach out to your assessment director, whoever is in charge of the land trust funds in your district, if you have any questions.